morning, Chad. Morning. Welcome back. Thanks. I can't believe I'm back. I like <laughs> the abuse. Now, why can't you believe you're back? Oh, well, I don't know. Gosh. Well, the last time I had a good time, I shouldn't say that. I had a good time with Howard. He's funny. Did you really? You had a good time? No, I really did. So why? So then, are you nervous about being back? You yeah, know? who wouldn't be nervous? Why? why? What do you think could happen? Would you want to go in there? I mean, come on, I got a lot of ground. They could go up one side of me and down the other. Howard's got a lot to work with here with me, right? In one second, we'll be meeting China from the... Ooh. I think she badmouthed me in a Think book. you read it to us. Right? She did, right? Yeah. I don't know why, man. I treated the broad okay. She didn't like it. Broad. <laughs> You know, she's a pretty good dude, but... And the rest of us just sat and cackled at every wonderful thing you said. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> There's China. Honey, you look kind of feminine today with that dress on. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Thank you, China. I got the new China book, China fitness video, China poster. Look at the size of you. God, I'm always shocked when I see you in person. Never ready to... It's always upsetting when you meet a woman who could kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not necessarily upsetting, Howard. That could it be is. a lot of fun, too. You no, know, I mean, I mean, like, if, if you and I got into a fight, you'd beat me up, and that upsets me that I'm, I'm not man enough to take her down. <laughs> well, start working out. I offered the last time we wanted to go take you to go work out, and I was told that you didn't want to go. In your book, I saw pictures of you before you became a wrestler. You show them, actually, and, and, and uh, I got to tell you something. You were born naturally big. You're a big... She's you, got a big structure, big frame. She's abnormally yes. large for a woman. Abnormal. Oh, my. Right. <laughs> China, why... Be, I well, got, then I fit right in at home right here, <laughs> right. I guess. There's a bunch of things I need to ask you about, because I, I read portions of your book. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but I've read a Only lot of it. the places where you mentioned him. That's yeah, what I, I immediately went to where you mentioned me. Why badmouth me? Howard, how dare you? I didn't badmouth you at all. I thought you that say that you, I, you, you allowed me to make fun of you. You allowed right. me to ridicule you and Absolutely. humiliate you. I, I thought we had a really good conversation. I didn't think I humiliated you. Well, I didn't say humiliate if you would read the book. I did read it. I'll read you the but passage now. Listen, yeah. it's all in good entertainment, right? Yes. And it says that in the book. Yeah, but you say that. Right. I said it was like the with headphones and. Why is it like you were real? We kept it real. I, was, uh, I thought I was nice to you. I thought we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, Howard, don't take it so personal. For yeah, but, but I mean, you say in the book that I, I humiliated you and treated you badly, that, that, that I was somehow mean to you. You, you were like, all, it sounded like you were all, like all the bullies in high school. Yeah, she kind of, you, you, know, you didn't say anything more kind. the same old thing. I thought of all people. Howard, you would I say, am so very surprised that you, of all people, would take that so personally. In yeah, the but book. why not say, gee, Howard Stern, what a good guy. He put me on the show. I did say that. I said I liked you nah. in the book. I don't know. I think you could have you said something more. Yeah. Read the front of the could've book. Could have said I was too. handsome. Let's, uh, Go ahead and read it. Let me read it. Let's China, the ninth wonder of the world, yeah, if they only have to knew. Open it up. Oh, I, it. No, I don't open up books. To Howard, I really do think you are a great entertainer. You're the best love, Joni. Yes. Which is your real name. Correct. I don't know. So Joni likes you. Maybe China does. I don't think China <laughs> likes me. Anyway, Chad, I have a million things to ask you okay. about your book. There's a startling revelation in there. You should read it. China claims in the book. Now, I'm gonna, I want to make sure I got this right, China, because I can't even believe this. Now, tell me if this is true. One night in college, mm -hmm. Joni, which is you, yes. got really drunk. Oh, yeah, I Correct. remember reading All right. this, too. You woke up with some dude using your mouth for oral. Wait, and another guy having anal with oh! you. Both were football players, which is you were raped by two guys at the same time. I got to figure you kicked their ass. You must have beat them to a pulp. I would never, I mean, I don't believe in raping anybody, but you, you are the size of a mountain. I mean, you must have woken up and beaten them. You know what, Howard, at that time I was very embarrassed over what happened, so I didn't do a damn thing, but I tell really? you what, yeah. I think, and as you read the book, you see that a series of events happened in my life, and I think it made me, Stronger. you know, now if that ever happened. Yeah, who well, would I have the they... balls to rape China? Look at the well, size of him. Well, wait till she was asleep. Ah! She was totally I'm sorry, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's true, too. I say he's, she, she's the size of a guy. Oh, stop it, she was Howard. Gonna, no, I'm saying, she could kick someone's ass. I could. Wait, I mean, she's asleep. Oh, you were unkind. But when she woke up, watch out. 
Hey, we, have you ever had a hangover or been really no, drunk? No, never. You don't, you're not at your full power, okay? Well, then she could have gone down like later that next day and kicked their ass. Oh, please. Howard, you're so... You so didn't kick their ass? I didn't. Well, if I saw him today, I would, You though. would kick their ass. Absolutely. You've never been a woman. It's very obvious, Howard. Who, because, China or me? No, you. Oh. you. <laughs> How dare you, Rob? You know, you get embarrassed. You what? Vulnerable. You're more woman than I am. I saw your butt last time we were here. Oh, honey, come on. Come on, honey. I'm working out. <laughs> I hope you are. In about 10 years, I'm going to have an ass like you. All right, China, let's go through your book. I can't believe what those guys did to you in college, by the way. I feel bad about that. That's sad. I don't. I what don't do you feel mean bad you don't? about it now. Sure you do. You well, were violated. I, you were anally raped. I think, uh, well, I wasn't anally raped. Didn't say that. It said I was raped. But they had anal with you. No, they did not. There Where was one on each facts? end. One was, wait a second, please. Uh, Hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> You're saying when you woke up, there was some guy messing around with your mouth. Uh -huh. So he raped you there. You didn't, that wasn't by consent. Correct. And there was some guy messing around with your anus. No, having oh. intercourse with me. Oh, he was? Yes. What was the anus part? I don't know where you got that. That was another that book. Huh? That was a different book I'm reading. <laughs> it's your fascination with anuses. I it says, know. one guy was in your mouth and a guy have an anal with you. That somebody wrote you a note. No. Right. Oh. oh. Well, that's Benji. It says page 111. It says it. But regardless, yes. Okay. I was, you were raped. Yes, I was raped. And that's terrible. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm just trying to punch up the book and make it a better story. That's all. <laughs> well, I'm going for the anal angle. It is a good story. Well, no, it is. I know. <laughs> and have you ever confronted these guys at all? No, never. Never. Did you know them? Do you know who they were? I mean, yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know them by name, but if I ever saw them, I would definitely recognize mm -hmm. them. But it was a, a story of a series of events. Right. So you were passed out. You were out drinking that night. Yes. Believe me, anal would have woken you up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, the weird thing about the story, to me, as I recall it, was that you weren't the type to go drinking and partying. I never drank. It was the, I, was a, I was telling the story that I was a resident assistant. Uh -huh. I was in charge of my entire floor at school. I was a real... I bet they listened to you. you know, I, yeah, but she was like the goody two-shoes. I was total goody two I was and very uptight, didn't have party. any fun. One party and these guys took Ooh. advantage. Did people goof on you and stuff? Was that it? Were you, because of your large size? Was that what they, they were doing a goof? No, I think because, you know, I was the person. It was like, it'd be like getting your teacher drunk or somebody that's right. not Right, you were the goody two-shoes. Right. And uh, so, uh, you know. I don't know. It was the guy who assaulted you named Alex because there's a guy on the phone that claims he is the guy who assaulted oh. you. Alex, are you the guy? That's me, man. How dare you? <laughs> that's Boy. me. She you know how I can't, I still got marks from her big heavy on my thigh. Oh, come on. This is outrageous. I thought it might be the guy. Oh, yeah, wow. This is outrageous. I'm sure he's calling in to take uh, credit. <laughs> That's something to take credit for, dickweed. It was me. Yeah. Now, hold on a second. There's a lot of revelations in here, things we didn't know about you. Okay. You are now a successful wrestler. You are a top international star. But there are things we don't know about you. It says here, in grade this is amazing your male teacher mm -hmm. made out with you and this is great made out with you he was a married man my first kiss oh unbelievable and get this the guy still gave her a c in the class how dare you oh. she, you're not a good kisser is that what this means? <laughs> was, does that, that mean true? you're not a good kisser i mean not only were you sexually assaulted in college mm -hmm. Was one of the guys Greg Gumbel? Oh, stop it. curious. <laughs> but you're saying that it's in, in <laughs> grade a teacher did this to you. Mm -hmm. How does he make that move? I mean, like, are you the, you after class helping out or something? And Yeah, well, I wasn't, he was helping me after class. I was, it was <laughs> so being a What were you wearing? That was horrible. <laughs> Actually, I remember what I was wearing. Good. I was wearing jeans and a little half shirt. Really? At school? Jeans and a half shirt, yes. so your, your tight belly was showing? Yes. No bra? No bra. So is he sitting next to you at the but desk was, or something? It wasn't even developed then, hardly. <laughs> <Not allowed. laughs> and then he just throws the arm over? And, and he was a really funny guy. He had a great sense of humor. I loved being this around. This is after school? After school. And he's talking school. to you? And uh, what was the reason he held you back uh, to, uh, after school? For extra help. Extra help. Oh, she yeah. She was having trouble with the class. She was having yes. trouble learning how to kiss. <laughs> He had to teach me the f of making out, I guess. Right. 
I had a teacher. Uh, he, uh, I used my hand on him for extra credit, but that's a different story, and that's my book. What you to... got? <laughs> I got a well, D. It was a class he was taking pass fail. Is right. That ridiculous? I thought it would help. I liked it though. So you, so you uh, made out with the guy, tongues and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you like it? Did, well, did this go on no. more than once, or was no, it just No, it only happened once. It only happened one time. I had never even kissed anybody, so it was really, it was just very it odd was, to me. It was weird. Yeah. That's not a way to have Find it. Find your teacher's tongue down your throat. Right. Right. Especially after I'd been into, I say in the book, I'd been to his house for bacon the bag pork chops. You know, uh -huh, I was really, uh -huh. I used to go over to the house. And, really? Uh, and what's strange to me is, is that you worked for a 900 phone sex line before you became a wrestler. And, and and really, you do have you know you have a deep sounding voice. You do not have a feminine sounding voice. Uh, so it, 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 guys would call up and you'd be like, "Hello," you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, no, we, I don't know what you're saying. No, no, you have an unusual voice. You know that. Unusual, I agree. But do you feel that it's a feminine voice that uh, China has? Um, it's not the most. You know, I usually think of the sexy girl. I uh, think of a sexy very... girl having a deeper voice, actually. Really? Did a <laughs> call a lot? Like a lot of guys thinking like maybe... Well, you... see, here's the thing. It wasn't a sex line, okay? It was one of those chit-chat lines. But oh. the thing was, the guys would always call and try and talk about sex. I so see. So they would talk about sex without talking about oh, it. So she wasn't trying to do like the 900 number. So... I want to talk to you, but I don't want to talk about sex. <laughs> so guys would talk about feet or, you know, weird <laughs> fetishes that they have, and you keep see. them on the line. Did the teacher call? The teacher never called. The teacher so. never called you. When you were doing the uh, 900 phone line, mm -hmm. did Greg Gumbel call you? Oh, oh stop. That's no. not in the book. Right, okay. I don't know. Did I'm you, just curious. You should ask him if he has, like, a bunion fetish or something. <laughs> now, this is weird, too, in your book. You've had, you have not had a normal life in any way. Right. It's a very candor book. It says here your father was drunk and at times would bring women home, completely forgetting he was married. Yeah, I found that odd, too. He bring, was really, he, that was a heavy drinker. He'd forget he was yes. married. And what would he do? He would make out with chicks in front of you and, like, feal them up? No, he'd just bring other women home. Like, like uh, and, and your mom was there? Yeah. And have sex with the women in front of you? No. No. He's no. just saying that the, the family is at home. And he comes in with another woman. My thank you, Robin, God. for clarifying that. Oh, man. That's drinking. Yeah. That's what heavy drinking. The thing about my dad is that he's a hilarious guy. He's oh, yeah, I bet oh, he's a lot of laughs. A of laughs. Yeah. yeah. He sounds like a really good guy. Hey, honey. Yeah, honey, guess what? There's another chick oh, home. I forgot I was married. Hey, let's call the 900 phone line. <laughs> wow. Now, what would your mom do at this point? Well... She obviously didn't react very positively to most of this. So was there right. a lot of volatility, a lot of fighting? Right. We had a lot of reaction to a lot of action. Yeah. So it was crazy. That's right. And, and uh, now the book is a bestseller, I assume, already? Well, already the pre-orders are, are, yes, lined up to be a bestseller. It comes out next Tuesday, January 30th. Oh, so it's not even out yet. There's a lot of good pictures in it, too. The one that I was intrigued uh, by was China before... Before surgery, I guess you had your nose done or something. No, I you haven't. ever had your nose done because no. it looks like it, it, your nose was wider. No, my jaw. Your jaw done? Yeah, you look different. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and it's really interesting to see what she, you know, used to look mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. I find that kind of brave to put that in your book. Well, I think it's I think it's a really great story. It was very candor in it. There are a lot of things that happened in my life. I think they have to be told in order to get to the end. When you see. But I, I am very happy with myself. I right. think I shine above many other people. And it's not easy being a big woman and then being comfortable in your own skin, which you really appear to be. Right. Okay. And that's a very positive thing. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mario, you're on the air. China, have you ever had a, a sexual experience with a woman? You must have tried it with a woman, right? Yeah. Why would that have to be a must have? Yeah, all broads try it once. Oh, I see. Sure. Uh, <laughs> no. You've never had, what do you mean no? You never kissed another girl? You were never, let's say, over at a sleepover and a girl uh, kissed you? No, that's just not my thing. Really. Well, not, you, what? How about a guy? What about a guy? Have had sex with a guy? Oh. Of course she said so. She's married. So you are gay? Oh, get <laughs> out of here. Such a silly person. <laughs> How dare you? I'm in the middle of a serious interview. Bob, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yes. How are you? Is this Nicole Bass's brother? Oh, come on. Give me a serious question. Go ahead, Joe. Hi, uh, Howard. Yeah. I want to ask China. I'm a big, very big fan. I want to ask them a very personal question. China, how big's your penis? Oh, see. They're all Kick very it. funny. Oh. Really. Now, here's the typical guy who is so intimidated by me. <laughs> I, ma I, I make them physically angry. Answer Howard. the question. How big is your penis? <laughs> you shave totally down there? You shave totally, right? I saw your Playboy spread. Not totally. 
Why Pretty not? Pretty much, totally. Let me shave you right now. Boy, that'd be a great show, huh? Me shaving China? <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> I don't like a lot of hair, though. I'm not a big... She's afraid I'll find <laughs> down there. Right? <laughs> I'll, I'll avoid you. Well, probably more than you have, Howard. Oh, I, I hardly have any. Seeing anything when I don't have down. anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> China, uh, the book is called If They Only Knew. It is interesting. You're very honest in it, and uh, the pictures are great. Uh, you'll be available at bookstores starting January 30th. You will meet the fans. You will press the oh, flesh. Oh, yeah. I have tons of signings traveling all over the country. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of guys online uh, screwing around with you, asking if you have a penis, asking if you're circumcised. Oh, and that's and nothing I, new. Like, I care less. You get that all the I time. I ask them if they have a penis, too. So Yeah, that's all. Just mix it up with them. I bet all of them be afraid to get in the ring with you. <laughs> What can I say? China's book is good. Go read it. Uh, well, I'm glad we got together. We didn't clear up anything, I don't think, about right. whether she was happy with her last appearance or not. But uh, I was. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> and we I had fun. I, I hope that when you read the whole book, Howard, you'll It'll see come how into that context. Feels. All right, all right. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, yes. All right, hey, China, come see Robin, us again. I hope you read it, too. I will. Hello. So, China, so, so now you're leaving here again. Are you good? Did you have a good time? Yes. I don't know. I think I might have a little crush on Howard now this time. Really? Yeah. He's really cute. He's cute. Why? What do you like about him? Uh, he's got uh, just a certain charm about him.